So I, I definitely feel like there's a lot to get through in new makeup releases for this week. There's, there's a lot to get through. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. We're doing new makeup releases. This is where we sit down, we look at new makeup releases, and I tell you if I would buy it or not, or like what my unfiltered opinions are on new makeup releases. I try doing this series mm, pretty frequently. I try posting at least once a week. Sometimes it gets a little bit sporadic though. So I did miss last week only because my daughter had a tonsillectomy and I wasn't able to sit down and film. It was just a crazy week overall. So I wasn't able to sit down. This is actually like I filmed like right before this and like doing my makeup. And this is literally like the second video I have filmed. I think I haven't filmed in like two weeks. Yeah, and I still have a lot of videos to go through and edit as well. Awesome me. So we're we're sitting down, we're talking about new makeup releases today. There has been a lot of things that have been announced, sneak peeked, things that are actually already available. And let's just talk about the first thing that is available right now, but it is also a new makeup launch, a new makeup release. And that is the Hypernatural palette from Natasha Denona. This is available now. And this is a all-in-one face palette that Natasha created. It has five eyeshadow palettes and then it has a bronzer contour section and then also a blush section. And this was designed by Natasha to be like your all-in-one, one makeup step type of palette. So you can do your blush, your bronzer, your eyeshadow, and technically, technically you could do your highlight as well. And I'm actually wearing this palette today with just some foundation and some concealer and some finish. So the video with this palette, it's coming soon. Please just bear with me. I do have to edit it, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is a new makeup release. It retails for $62. It's available on Natasha Denona's website. It's available on Ulta and on Sephora. If you guys want to save a little bit of money, I do have an affiliate code now, which is really exciting. That's, that's really exciting. But if you want to save 15%, use XOXO Stacy15 at checkout. It is affiliated, but honestly, the funds that I receive go toward this channel and being able to buy like new makeup launches or that sort of thing that are all, it all gets recycled back into this channel. We had that new makeup launch from Natasha Denona and I wanted to talk about some other things. So we're actually gonna look at Trend Mood One. I'm gonna scoot over actually just a little bit so you guys can see here. So available now we have the Juvia's Place, the I Am Magic Glow Radiance Booster. This retails for $25. And they do have a decent shade range. I did cover this in my last um, new makeup releases video. So definitely go check out my thoughts on that. And this basically is a like Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter, but from Juvia's Place. Honestly, like I said in my last video, when I was looking at this, the shade range actually looks a lot better. Like I don't really feel like that, like I don't feel like Charlotte Tilbury really has a really good shade range, especially in their sample sizes. They're really, really small. And I really like that Juvia's Place came out with like their variation of it because I also felt like Elf didn't really have a good shade range either. And Juvia's Place is known for having a way better shade range. $25 for that though is a little bit expensive in my opinion when you can get the Elf one for like $14. So I feel like Juvia's Place is getting a little up there in pricey price, you know, like $25 for that. When you can buy the the Hollywood Flawless Filter is like forty something dollars. I mean, I guess there's pros and cons to it, but I feel like twenty five dollars is a little bit steep for a drugstore product. Although Juvia's Place is really good, don't get me wrong. I just feel like if I can find a fourteen dollar one or even the Catrice one that's ten dollars, like where's your pocketbook going? So we also have a new collab with Nails Inc. and McDonald's. It looks like they're doing a burger mini nail polish and sticker duo. This is gonna be $8.99. Um, you, you get shades like Gotta Catch Up, which is a red color, Big Mac Please, which is a brown color, and then you get fast food stickers. You get fries, nail polish, and sticker set. And that sticker set is also $8.99. So you get Gotta Catch Up nail polish, which is a ketchup red, and then fired by the unmissable side to any McDonald's order the fries. So 
In the first set, there are many nail polishes. And then in the second set, it looks like it may be a full-size nail polish. But they're both $8.99. And then you have the I'm Loving It Gold Heart Nail Topper. This is $8.99. It's a nail polish topper with shimmery gold hearts to apply all over any nail polish. That one is only $8.99. And then you have the I Speak French Press-On Nails, which are $6.99. This is packaged in the signature brown bag inspired by the unmissable side to any McDonald's order, the fries. The shape set includes 30 medium almond shaped artificial nails in a classic nude shade, plus a selection of fries printed on the nails. So when I think about this, it's a cute concept. Like it's, we have seen makeup and food come together in like a concept, like Chipotle did one with Elf. And there've been some other ones where we've seen like Hershey's and Glam Light, like that's food with makeup. I think this is a cute concept, especially for nails and like the stickers. I don't foresee myself purchasing any of this. When I thought about this, the only person who came to mind was my daughter, Claire, and she would be obsessed with the nail stickers because she is, and she would be obsessed with the fact that there's like French fries and ketchup and like all that kind of stuff, but she would be most obsessed with French fries. I don't think that this is really like, it's cute. I wouldn't buy it. I would not find any value in it. I don't know. I think a teen or a tween or even somebody who's a little bit younger would really like this. But somebody who's like 35, if I show up somewhere with McDonald's nails, like people are going to be giving me an eyeball. Like, And we also have another nail polish collection. It is the What's Your Fantasy collection from Light Slacker. Light Slacker is the brand owned by Kathleen Lights. She used to own Oh, what was the other? KL Polish. And now she actually has Lights Lacquer. I have some Lights Lacquer polishes and they're pretty good. I do like them. And the What's Your Fantasy nail polish is going to be all pastels. And it looks like they're all shimmery like shades with like a little bit of a maybe like a duochrome in there. And these look super stunning. So you have Ever After, which is a pale blue sheer polish with a fine pink and blue shimmer finish. This sounds like a fairy. Wings and Things, a coral pink opalescent polish with a green shift and a shimmer finish. And then you have La Luna, which is a light forest green with a fine halo shimmer finish. And Trust Pixie Dust, it's a purple lilac with a fine gold and green shimmer finish. High Fay, which is a translucent polish with a teal shimmer finish. It's best used as a topper. And then Fairy Floss, which is a quartz pink polish with a fine diamond shimmer crelly finish. And then there's also going to be 3D Do Art Drop Nail Stickers. And then Once Upon a Time Nail Art Tattoos. Like these shades just look super pretty. And from the sounds of it, most of them, it looks like you could possibly like layer them up. And they're not sheer on the nail except for High Fae, which they, they know in there that it's a topper, not like meant to be like on the nail. It sounds really pretty. All of these shades do. They just remind me of like spring and like flowers and like I mean obviously she took like a little bit of like a fairy twist to it but I love this they're so beautiful I would purchase this it doesn't really say how much these are going to be and I know she usually sells them in like individually and then I think she does sets as well but I, I think her nail polishes tend to retail for like 10 or 11 dollars a piece so 11 times going to be like $66. Oh, so <laughs> there's a new addition to the Kush family. It is the Kush Hydrating Sheer Tinted Lip Oil from Milk Makeup. We have more lip oils. <laughs> um, it looks like we're getting six new lip oils and they range in shades from like green to a dark chocolate brown. First of all, who's wearing green? Clear with a sage and peppermint. Who's wearing green? And does it look green on your lips? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look green on your lips. It looks the same. The only one that you might be able to see a little bit of tint in is like that dark chocolate brown. But like for the most part, these are these are lip oils. Lip oils look the same on your lips. These are going to be $26. They have a subtle juicy flavor and a cushiony texture. It's a lip oil, guys. Like I don't really I don't really get into lip oils because all lip oils look the same no matter if it's tinted a little bit or if it's clear. To me, they all look the same. Like, that's just me. 
So available right now, but it's only in Korea and the United Kingdom. There's a new color for the Dyson Airwrap, and it's in honor of Mother's Day. And it is a like rose gold shade. It's really pretty. And it also, so this entire set includes the Airwrap Multi Styler and Dryer, the Supersonic Hair Dryer, and the Air Straight. So you get all of these. Typically, typically the Dyson Airwrap is like a $600 product. So a special edition one, I can expect it to be that much or a little bit more. And usually that's just for the Airwrap that you pay $700 for or $600 that you pay for the Airwrap typically like on Ulta. And this also comes with the straightener brush and the like hair dryer. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was priced at like $700. Like that would not surprise me at all. It's cute. And I've heard great things about Dyson and their hair, their air wrap. Everybody's trying to dupe it, but that it's going to be pricey, guys. Like it's going to be so pricey. I saw this one. There is a new eyeshadow palette that is coming, and this one looked really cool because it's like a take on like black with a hint of green in it. And it's called Out of Luck by CXC Beauty. And this just looks so cool. It's like if you took the Natasha Denona xenon palette and mixed it with some of the like monochromatic eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop like meant to be and just my look that's what you get this is such a cool concept I actually haven't really seen anybody ever do black and gray and green before typically when we see this kind of color combination we see like black gray and red that's a lot of what I've been seeing lately I don't really ever see like black gray and green and that's why I was really intrigued by this palette it it's a very cool toned palette lots of greens lots of black lots of grays it's really cool it's going to be like your grungy dreams desire it's going to retail for $59 and the description of it is where mystic greens and earthy blacks meet the luxurious sheen of champagne and the refined subtlety of taupe grace. With rich pigmentation and velvety texture, a magical night, or a shimmer with the elusive promise of leprechaun's gold. Like, this is really cool. I really do like this. It looks really fun and intriguing. If I didn't already have these colors, I'd be like, ooh, that looks really good. Like, I could pair my Xenon palette with the green Scooby-Doo palette, and I would be all good to go just throwing that out there like if you guys are intrigued in this pull out like glow and smoke and like one of the mint to be or the just my luck and you have this eyeshadow palette unless there's like dual chromes in there or multi chromes that you don't have then it's possible that you don't have exactly that but you have something very very similar conceptually the oh there's a summer collection that has been announced summer and we're when I'm filming this it is February 29th it's leap day am I getting punked I was punked in my last video and I think I'm being punked again it's leap day when I'm filming this they in in all fairness and in all honesty this was posted four days ago so I know I'm not being punked but it's a summer collection from Tom Ford and it is called the Soleil summer collection it includes an eye color quad an emerald dusk oh green is like really popular right now and then you get the Soleil Spark Color Changing Lip Oil. And then the Golden Highlighter and then Ultra Shine Lip Color. You get a, a pH Changing Lip Oil. Tom Ford is a very luxurious brand. Like, honestly, this eyeshadow palette has a green and then the rest of it are neutral. So it has like that pop of green in there. I know that we're right around like St. Patrick's Day when I'm also filming this. So green is a really big thing. But considering this is technically a summer collection, it really surprises me that they're focusing on green in a summer collection and not like, you know, the color of the year, which is peach fuzz. Like, why wouldn't you pair that with something? Um, Tom, like I said, Tom Ford is a luxury brand. Usually their eyeshadow palettes are like $60, $70 for like a quad. I would not purchase that at all. Honestly, if you're looking for something that's like green with a little bit of neutral thrown in there, I mean, there are countless palettes that have the same color combination. I think it's, I feel like I'm being punked, like I said, like a summer collection already. This doesn't scream summer to me at all. It really doesn't. Like it just, it screams more... I don't think that they could call this the summer collection. I honestly feel like they should have called this like the St. Patrick's Day collection because you have like very dark lipsticks in this collection as well. And dark lipsticks in summer just don't go together. So I don't know why they're calling this the Soleil Summer Collection. I, I really don't know. I don't know. Because Soleil means sun. So why isn't this more sunny? Like the packaging is sunny, but the product is not sunny at all. Polite Society, which is 
actually a brand that was founded by the original owners of Too Faced. Polite Society is now owned by, you know, so basically it's like Too Faced 2.0. That's what a lot of people have said anyway. <laughs> but Polite Society is coming out with Light Pop Innovative Powder in a Stick Formula. It's a powder blush stick. Blurring soft matte formula that combines the effortless rich color and blendability of a cream with the look and feel of a powder. Honestly, the description of that is like absolutely crazy. Why don't you just say it's a cream blush? First of all, I am not a fan of these like put it on your lips, put it on your cheek products, and here's why. Here is why. Do you know how dirty your mouth is? Do you know how dirty your mouth is? The human mouth is like one of the dirtiest mouths that you could ever think of. And you think of like animals, like animals probably have really dirty mouths. No, the human mouth is one of the dirtiest mouths that we know of. And do I want to be putting like my nasty saliva? on my makeup products when I'm applying this to my lips and then putting it on my cheeks. Like, if you guys don't remember, I know I do, when 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 COVID was going on and I was masking up all the time because my saliva and my breath was getting trapped in my mask, I broke out all over the place. Like, I had major breakouts. And the fact that all of these lip and cheek, like, do it, do it together products are coming out, it really makes me cringe. And that's my unfiltered opinion for today. That I'm gonna that's my unfiltered opinion. They are not these types of products, like if you're gonna use it for your lips, use it for your lips. If you're gonna use it for your face, use it for your face. But don't use it for both. Because you're gonna end up with breakouts all over your face because your mouth is gross. Now I'm gonna step down from my soapbox. <laughs> In any case, the description of this product, weird. Okay? weird. This is not a good description of a product. Once you actually get down into the nitty gritty of it, okay, it makes sense. It, it acts like a cream and it dries down like a powder. But guys, uh, we have a lot of products like that already. And the packaging on this looks tiny, 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 tiny. Like it doesn't look like you get a lot of product in there at all. And honestly, I would like to know how much product you get in there because that doesn't look like a lot. I know some people once upon a time, there were these other blush sticks. I want to say they were from Merit or something. You literally like rolled up the blush stick and there was nothing in it besides like maybe a 0.1 ounce. You, here's the best example in the world. The Fenty Foundation Stick. You would think that you would get, you know, 0.75 or, or something like that. You would think that you would get like, you would think that you would get like, 0.75 ounces, not maybe not a full ounce because that's hard to do in a cream. Maybe a half an ounce because it's it's again it's kind of hard to do in a cream. This is 0.32 ounces. And this is like a forty dollar foundation stick. So you get less product in here than what you do in a concealer, which is insane to me. Insane. So the Polite Society looks tiny, 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 tiny. I would not purchase those. There are so many cream blushes on the market. We don't need another one. And there's so many that do the same exact thing that it's 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 talking about. I don't know. I just these these do it, you know, two in one products. Like please just if you put it on your lips, put it on your lips. If you put it on your cheeks, keep it on your cheeks. Like don't intermix because you're gonna have pimples all over your face. Oh, and hard candy. We haven't heard from hard candy in a really long time. And here we have makeup with food again, but this is actually like a legit makeup collection. It's not just like nails. And hard candy is doing a collection with the Girl Scouts. That's really, really surprising that they would do a collection. Like, that's really surprising. Um, so it looks like hard candy and the Girl Scouts are coming out with a collection inspired by and scented like your favorite Girl Scout cookies. Let's just make me eat now. Like, I want a thin mint cookie. Like, I just, I need a thin mint cookie and a coffee. I'm good to go. But it looks like they're all coming out with, like, individual eyeshadow palettes, which also come with lip products, which also come with eyeliners. And these look really cute. They look like Girl Scout cookies. So you have thin mint, which is thin mint, coconut caramel, and trefoil. So it includes cookie scented shadow palettes, which are going to be $10 each. They have mattes, shimmering pearls, metallics, and glittery finishes. And those are going to be the Thin Mint, the Coconut Caramel, and the Tree Foil cookies. Give me the Thin Mint one. Like, I need that one because that's my favorite cookie. And then we also have the Sweet Treat Lip Repair Oils. They're going to be $8. Again, everything is Thin Mint, Coconut Caramel, or Tree Foil. So just keep that in mind. 
Then you get the Get Ready to Plush Headband. You get $10. A Cookie Batter Indulgent Volumizing Mascara in Dark Chocolate. That's interesting. That one's going to be 7 bucks. And honestly, I can say that that looks real, like even the wand looks really pretty. And if it's a dark chocolate, that's going to be really pretty. I know a lot of, a lot of brands have been coming out with like brown mascaras lately. Like even my favorite mascara, the Essence Lash Princess False Effect Mascara, they came out with a, a brown version of it and I'm dying to try it. I'm dying to try it. And now there's going to be a hard candy Girl Scout cookie brown mascara. Hopefully it doesn't smell like chocolate or smell like mints because mints on my eye would just not feel great. And then we have the Cookie Glaze Lip Marker, which is going to be $7. Then we have the Cookie Icing Face Highlighter. That only comes in coconut caramel or tree foil. Are these highlighters like wands? Because maybe that's, yeah, they are. They're a, liquid, they're a liquid highlight. Cookie Icing Face Highlighter. They're like liquid highlights. They come in a little doe foot applicator. These are really pretty. But doe foot application with a highlighter, like we've seen that a lot. Juvia's Place has one. The they they look really pretty, but they literally are very warm yellow leaning, so they may not look good on somebody who's cool toned like me. And then we have the refreshing mint canvas primer. That's nine ninety eight. It's a glow boosting primer powered by Choco Mint Complexion, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid that refreshingly it refreshes and moisturizes to help protect your skin. That honestly sounds like the Mint to Be Primer from e.l.f., but they discontinued that one, like e.l.f. discontinued that one, and now obviously Hard Candy is coming out with like a version of their own. And then Be Bold, Do More Powder Puffs. The powder puff looks like the Girl Scout symbol. I don't really know how I feel about that. It's kind of wonky. Like, I like the point, don't get me wrong, because that's really easy to like get in here. But other than that, like the shape is awkward. And then lastly, you have the Handshake Press-On Nails and the Handshake Nail Stickers. So their lip oils are decent. I've tried their lip oils before. I did not mind it. The problem that I had with my lip oil is that all of a sudden it started randomly leaking. And I noticed it like all over my desk. So I had to throw it away because I couldn't figure out why it was leaking. It was literally just standing upright on my desk. It wasn't even tipped over. And it started leaking. So that's something to keep in mind. It's really hard to see the color stories of the eyeshadows in this post because like you can't really see them. But you know... The mint one is mint themed. It has like green shadows and chocolate shadows. And then you have the Caramel Queen shadow palette. It's purples and browns. That one's really pretty. It also has some glitter in there. And then you also have the Buttery Bestie shadow palette. That one's blues and neutrals. So, I mean, they're really pretty. The theme is really cute. If they're scented and they smell like Thin Mint, I'm going to want to eat my face. But they are really cute. They look really affordable. Um, I'd be interested to try the primer. And maybe a couple of the eyeshadow palettes, but honestly, I have these I have these 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 colors like in other in other palettes. This intrigued me though. This intrigued me. We have the new matte buttermilk bronzer from N Y X. I haven't seen N Y X come out with a, a a bronzer in a while. The last one I remember them coming out with was like the California Beeman bronzer, which really didn't go over well. I actually just decluttered one of mine along like a while ago because it was old and I never used it because it sucked. <laughs> it was not a good bronzer. But this one, it, it says it's a formula that melts into the skin, delivering a buttered up bronzed finish and a silky smooth skin. It's infused with mango butter, shea butter, and almond butter for up to 12 hours of wear. They, it's for a sun-soaked bronzed look all year round. It comes in eight shades for $10. So I did, I saw these and I was like, these look interesting. I couldn't tell if they were cream or powder. From the description, it sounds like they're powder. But if you get a really good powder bronzer, like I tried this palette today, going back to new makeup releases, but giving you guys a little inside into this as well i tried the bronzing shades in here the contour bronzing shades and they are literally like butter and they blend in so smoothly and they don't texturize at all and i'm wondering if these perform the same way and i'm really intrigued about these like they look so pretty i did want to just touch on a couple of things like one thing that's being restocked which is the ColourPop twilight collection on the day that i'm filming this it was restocked they limited the purchases to two items if I want two, like an eyeshadow palette, I'm only allowed to buy two. If I want lip oils, I'm only allowed to buy like two of the same color of lip oil. So they did do like a limited thing on that. 
when this collection came out, a lot of people were mad because there were a lot of resellers who were buying up the collection like crazy and then turning around and selling it on Poshmark for like $300. I think that it's good to note that, you know, they finally did something about, you know, scalpers on their website. I wish they would have done this before. Like I wanted to buy the ColourPop Twilight collection. I was really excited about it. I was I was ready for it. I was ready to buy it. And it's I was in line waiting for this collection. Literally was going to buy the entire PR collection, $99. I was like, yeah, let's just do it because I love Twilight. I, I just love it. And I get to check out and all of a sudden it was all gone. Like they didn't hold that product for me when I was waiting in line to check out. It just disappeared from my cart and I was not happy at all. And then by the time that I got to like the checkout and the collection was gone, everything else was gone. So I couldn't add like just the palette in or just a couple of lip oils. Like I couldn't do anything because everything had been scalped off their website. So I'm glad that ColourPop learned their lesson. I was not happy when it sold out so fast. I know a lot of people were very, very, very upset with ColourPop knowing how big Twilight is in general. Other than that though, guys, this is my unfiltered thoughts and opinions on new makeup releases, what's going on in the beauty space. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider subscribing before you go. I hope I get to see you again. Bye.